What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and finally I am able to upload a video for you guys. Um, so just a really quick recap. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you don't follow me on Snapchat, then you're probably wondering why it's taking me so long to record a video. Um, I've just been having a lot of health issues lately. Um, I've been in and out of hospitals, in and out of doctors' um, offices and needles everywhere to find out what is actually wrong with me. Um, so I actually told my Snapchat family that I was going to take a break from recording and taking a break from um, posting on Instagram and all that because I really needed to focus on my health and focus on me before I can do this. But um, today I woke up a little feeling a lot better, thank God, because I've been praying so hard to God for healing and I woke up um, way better today and I was like, you know what, you guys have wrote to me on Snapchat and Instagram um, asking me when I'm going to be back on YouTube and I was like, you know what, let me just record a video for you guys. So, um, you guys wanted to know my first thoughts and impressions on the Dose of Color Desi and Katie collaboration. So that was the first video I decided to record um, coming back to the channel. Um, and I did the tutorial, as you guys can see, I did a very simple, um, I would say everyday smoky eye. I'm just going to pretty much give you my thoughts on the collaboration and then we're gonna jump in the tutorial and that's it so I have to say first off the bat um, the reason why I decided to jump in the hype I decided to purchase the collaboration is because I truly 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 support 100% their hustle they're always uploading they're always they're on top of their game and they are very cute like what we can see on snapchat they're very real they're very down to earth like honestly speaking like personality wise Desi and Katie are bomb and also because their friendship for me is like goals because they're two girls who do the same thing in the same community and you don't see any competition between them and that is something that we as women in this industry have to look up for at because you're like listen why do I have to compete with her or my friend or whatever if we're doing the same thing? I feel like truly they are friendship goals and honestly speaking, I think they're beautiful and they're funny as hell. So that is the main reason why I decided to um, you know, give my money into Dose of Colors. And then I also never owned a Dose of Color um, item. So I thought it would be cool to check it out. So. Um, first off the bat, you guys already seen this all over. Um, the packaging is so pretty. It's so, uh, I will say, rose gold type of thing. When I was looking at their Snapchat and their um, launch party, that looked like something that I would love to like, like a party. Like I'm actually turning 30 in a couple of weeks and I was like, I wish my birthday party looked like that. So I thought that, honestly speaking, the collection, the colors and the theme that they picked out was right on the dot with the whole rose gold and whatever and then of course you guys see uh the actual palettes i only got my hands on three things because the other ones um were sold out but hopefully when the collection comes back i can get my hand on the other one what i did was able to get my hand was the girls which is the palette i got the hands on the mirame Mira Me highlight and i got my hands on the uh, no shade uh, lipstick um, honestly speaking I have to give you guys my honest opinion the packaging is very beautiful very gold rose gold um, glamorous uh, packaging I didn't really care much for the mirror I thought the mirror was it's a nice size but I just thought the mirror was not like all that the packaging on the inside for me is kind of cheap for being those of colors. I don't know, I thought the packaging was a, li a little bit on the cheap side. I thought that they could do better when it came to packaging. It's just, I don't know, I feel it's not, it's good that it's lightweight and whatever, but I feel like being those of color, I thought that their packaging would be a little bit more um, sturdy and a little bit more high quality. I just didn't care much for the packaging to be honest but other than that the outside looks beautiful and then when you open of course you guys seen it around I'm not gonna get into it you have the girls which are beautiful metallic um, shimmery colors I think they are and then the awesome thing is that it comes with this card and then it tells you how what color is which and 
it tells you better way to use it and then the other one I got is Mirame which is a highlight I honestly thought that the highlight was gonna be a little bit more intense given the fact that they are highlight queens they love um, their highlight yeah it's pretty cool but I actually have other highlights that are more intense than these but I honestly thought it was a pretty color pretty rose gold color Mirame and um, pretty honestly speaking and having a highlight having a mirror that's kind of like um, cool because I don't think I own any palette or any highlight um, compact that actually has a mirror so I thought that was pretty pretty cool and then the lipstick beautiful packaging I love that suede um, packaging it says those of colors and then the real cool thing about it is that it actually engraved in the lipstick I don't think you guys will be able to see it here but actually engraved in the lipstick you guys see the um, signatures of Luster Lux Katie and Desi Perkins so overall packaging wise pretty colors pretty concept I just thought that the pa actual packaging on their products was going to be a little bit more high quality but whatever we're actually using the inside so pricing wise not that expensive um well no not that expensive this was $28 for four shadows um I think it's average to be honest I think it's average yeah I've seen palettes are like $30 and you get like 12 colors but come on you know it's still some colors Desi and Katie of course you know they were gonna high price it but other than that um yeah it's pretty cool I'm excited I got it I don't regret getting it I will be getting it when it comes out just the other highlight to see if it's a little more intense and of course that hot fire uh, liquid lipstick that looks so bomb so anyways guys that is my thought on it if you haven't gotten your hands on it I think this is a collection that you should have if you're into YouTube it's like it's Desi and Katie come on people <laughs> and yeah if you guys want to see how I achieve this look using the dose of colors and Desi Katie uh, collection all you have to do is keep on watching Alright guys, so we're going to start up and I'm going to be using the uh, BioBell Cosmetics Facial Mask and this is the primer. Oh my god, this masks are amazing guys. It's amazing, it refines the pores, I'm sorry, refines the lines and um, blurs all your pores and definitely sets your face for a flawless canvas. So I really, really recommend you trying these masks out, they're bomb. So you leave them on for 5 minutes and while I leave on my mask, I'll just um, scare people on my Snapchat and my Instagram because you know, that's what we do. <laughs> so after the 5 minutes, I remove the mask and then it says to wipe off. So I just grab a wet cloth and I wipe off um, the extra product and then I of course pat dry my face. Then after that, I went ahead and applied moisturizer and primer. But now we're moving on to brows, and I'm using the Brow Power and Brow Pomade by It Cosmetics, which is bomb.com, guys. I think it's going to be launching pretty soon. So after my brows are done, I did them off camera because it takes me forever, so I'm sorry. We're jumping into correcting our under eyes, and I'm using the Nip and Fab after I just sprayed it over my eyes, like, hello. So I'm just applying this orangey thing that supposedly hides my humongous and nasty dark under eyes and then I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer just to go over that and uh, yeah I conceal twice because my dark under eyes are bad so this humongous um, uh, beauty blender that I'm just like what the hell I blend away and look guys like I seriously concealed my under eyes so let's start off the eyes I'm going to the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm using that I would say it's like a taupey color, right? And I am going to apply that on my crease. And I'm just blending that on my crease, um, working that upwards to where my brow begins. And I'm just applying packing color until I see like that's the color that I want. So I'm just blending. Now we're moving on to the Dusty uh, and Katie palette. I'm grabbing Seuss and Noli. So this one is Noli which is the darker color, hopefully I am saying it right. <laughs> and I'm packing the darker color on the outer part of my eyes and Noli, which is the lighter gold sparkly champagne color in the inner corners of the eye. Then with the same Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm grabbing that dark brown at the bottom and I'm using a crease murky brush. This is amazing for creasing, like not creasing, for the crease. Oh my God, I can't speak, that's good. Okay, let's get back to the story. So I'm just applying that to pretty much darken my eye, make it look a little bit more dramatic. So for lashes, Wispy, Demi Wispy by Ardell. After I apply the lashes off camera, I'm going 
to go in with the foundation and this is the LA Girl foundation which oh my god guys oh my god okay so I didn't put any liner as you guys can see I'm sorry I kind of skipped that through I didn't put any liner on my eyes all I did was uh, lashes and that's it so for foundation I'm just blending my foundation I'll make sure that the foundation is very well blended to my skin so again I'm going to conceal for the second time and this concealer is like cute. I'm here to be your best friend forever and also break your bank so I'm gonna contour with um, the LA Grey Pro concealer and I've been honestly guys I'm not gonna lie I've been into conceal um, contouring with liquid right now but only this thing nothing else this one so contouring where you normally do I mean you know we all get this from from YouTube most of us don't even know why the hell we're doing it but we do it YouTube made me do it the jawline and all that look like I got Nutella on my face and then we're going in with that huge beauty blender the reason why I use that huge beauty blender is because all my other beauty blenders are dirty and I'm lazy and I don't want to clean them all right so blend away nothing new you all know the steps here blend 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 see huge huge So now I'm using this stippling brush by e.l.f. and I'm using this to buff out the contour part of my face and I feel like this freaking brush does an amazing job at this and it's like what three dollars? Touching! I mean blending, blending, blending. So now we're setting, we're baking, we're cooking our face. We're just gonna cook it. I'm putting some all-purpose flour. Just kidding, guys. Then I'm going to your fridge and get all purpose water, flour. This is Kat Von D setting powder. Setting under my eyes, my chin, and under my hollow parts of my fa. Alright, after I leave it on for 15 minutes, I just go ahead with a big um, kabuki brush. I just pretty much blend everything, including that contour part. And then I just blend everything away, make sure all the powder leaves my face. And then I'm using this small brush to remove the powder from my under eyes. And then I like to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just set and brighten a little bit more the under eyes. I love this. Especially this powder is bomb.com in like five bucks. So I just put it wherever I cooked my face. I'm using the Derma Blend Bronzer just to pretty much bronze a little bit more and bring a little more of warmth into this face where you normally would contour. Again, I see this on YouTube, then I guess it must be the right way to do it, so let's do it. And of course my neck. Alright, powder. I'm using this beautiful Flower by Beauty by Drew Barrymore powder and I've just been loving this corally look and I thought it would be perfect. So now with the Mirame highlight, like, hey, Mirame, hey, Mirame, hey, tu, Mirame, Mirame, I'm blinding. I'm just gonna highlight my life like this highlight. Well, you normally know where the highlight goes, people. Cupid bow, nose, elbow. Forearm, ears, neck, back. Anywhere you just want to highlight your life. And I'm just gonna blend again with a couple of brush. Blend everything. Make sure all my makeup it looks presentable and blended. And then to finish the look, I'm using the of course the lipstick in no shade. Like yo, I did not know what no shade meant until I heard it from them. Don't judge. Don't throw shade at me beautiful color guys and that's it this completes my look guys i really hope you enjoy the look and i really hope that you can recreate it and yeah guys i'm just gonna let you enjoy myself because after this makeup look i'm feeling myself
hope you enjoyed it. I really hope that you were able to, I don't know, probably recreate the look. I try to make it as easy as possible. You don't have to wear lashes if it's kind of hard for you. You can just pack on mascara. Uh, the reason why I didn't put liner is because I thought putting a liquid eyeliner will definitely hide the lid colors, which is a Noli and I think I put Noli and Seuss. I use Noli and Seuss, so I thought that putting um, a liner will probably hide that shimmer going on. So anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my uh, reviews and you like my first impressions and tutorials on like upcoming collaborations, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below if you got your hands on it or if you're thinking to get your hands on it. Let's start the conversation. So as usual, thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.